This is well-known atheist Seth Andrews. I consider Seth to be a friend. That may not be mutual, but we have exchanged congenial emails. And by the way, I was delighted to get a public response from Seth. He said, please do your homework. I'm not the thinking atheist. The thinking atheist isn't a person. It's a symbol which represents the promotion of reason over faith. Well, I think his rebuke's justified. I've always mistakenly thought he was referring to himself as the thinking atheist. It never entered my mind that this encompassed every atheist. And there's a reason for that conviction. To illustrate my point, let's look at two short clips that I've taken from a debate that I had with high-profile atheist Jacqueline Glenn in a video called Crazy Bible. I'm not asking you to swallow crazy Bible stories. I'm asking you to swallow your pride and believe the gospel, that Christ died for your sins, that you're a sinner and you need God's mercy. That's all I'm asking you to believe, and God will do the rest. But I'm, this is rational, it's reason, it's logic. I see God's logic. I see the Bible being logical and doing that. And so it's not like I'm closing my eyes and saying, oh, I believe despite. I'm saying I believe because God's supernatural and nothing is too hard for him. And he knows every hair on your head. That's what the Bible says. Every single red hair on your head is known by God. He likes the color choice. I need to fix it. Atheism is a lack of belief. It's it nothing to do with knowledge. That's the beauty of science is we're not going to hold to it, which is what people would do in an event of it being a belief. We'd be like, no, we believe that this is what happened. But I promise you, as soon as or if and when any information contradictory to that is presented to them, they wouldn't hold to it like a belief. They would change their mind. So in 100 years' time, what you believe now or what you, the convictions you have, sorry to use the word belief, the convictions you have now will be laughed at in a hundred years time as we laugh at a hundred years ago. Well, I mean, is it, is it laughable? There's one thing that, that we know about the history of ideas, which is that in the past, everyone was wrong about everything, uh, pretty much. And no doubt, every generation laughed at the previous generations, thinking, this time, we got it right. You think you're a primate? Yes, I am. Are you a talking primate? I am. Are you a cousin of bananas? Why, yes. So, um, we are apes. We are African apes. Birds are living dinosaurs. Um, over the last three million years or so, the human brain has swelled up enormously. The chicken is a dinosaur. Well, there are a number of, of claimed routes to knowledge which we now know are fallacious, such as authority, scripture, dogma, the feeling of subjective certainty, the hermeneutic parsing of sacred texts. So we just know that humans are naturally just sinks of error. He's had a debate on the atheist experience that I watched. They spelled it out for him to see him use those same arguments that have been debunked time and time and time and time again. It's incredibly frustrating to me. What you're getting wrong about atheists, what we don't like is that you assert those things and then you expect us to counter your, your assertion. We don't agree with your assertion in the first place. And I'm just struggling with determining whether or not he really doesn't get it or if he does and he just chooses to continue perpetuating the same arguments because he knows his audience is going to buy it. I suspect that Jacqueline's referring to my continual assertion that an atheist believes the scientific impossibility that nothing created everything. Atheists say that's just not true, that no atheist believes that, that I'm misrepresenting their position. They maintain that they don't have any beliefs. Here's one of many clips where I say that. Uh, yes. So you believe the scientific impossibility that nothing created everything? It's crazy talk. Isn't that what you believe? Nothing created everything? It's, it's, I mean, it's terrible because also it's another type of religion, atheism. Sadly. You didn't answer the question. Do you, do you, do you oh. seriously believe that nothing, which can't do anything because it's nothing, created everything? Flowers, birds, trees, sun, moon, stars, seasons, the marvels of your body, the baby, the kitten, the puppy, the pony, all these things happened because of an explosion caused by nothing and it created everything. Order. Tragedy. It's all tragedy. Well, I asked you if you believe that. I want to know if you really do believe that. Come on, Jose. Fess no, up. I don't believe. 
And he always does this. He says, oh, well, if you're an atheist, that means you believe everything came from nothing. But it has nothing to do with our origins. Understanding how nothing turned into something may be the greatest mystery of our universe. Here are some of the leading atheists who believe the scientific impossibility that nothing created everything. Professor Richard Dawkins, physicist Paul Davies, Professor P.Z. Myers, physicist Stephen Hawking, physicist Victor J. Steinger, and of course, Professor Lawrence Krauss. And it means that our whole universe, everything we see, everything that matters to us today, could have arisen out of precisely nothing. It's possible, without any supernatural shenanigans, for matter and particles to be created from nothing. Um, are you saying that, there, that there's energy in that nothing, in that space? What's really remarkable is once you put gravity into the mix, is once you put gravity into the mix, is once you put gravity into the mix, you can make, you can have positive energy and negative energy. Well, yes, the terminology saying atheists believe is where, is where you get it wrong, because atheism is a lack of belief. It's the lack of a belief. Because atheism is simply about the lack of a belief in a deity. That's it, period. So if we're talking about atheism, it's strictly about the lack of a belief. That's it. Atheism is just about the lack of a belief in a god. A to say atheists believe is where <laughs> you hear the brakes screeching right there. Atheists lack belief in God. Right, end of story, right there. Here's why saying that atheism is a lack of belief is so important. If they lack a belief, they think it gets them out of being accused of believing the scientific impossibility that nothing created everything. I don't have that belief. Yeah, I don't have it. I lack that belief. Belief is I don't believe in anything. But that doesn't work. It's like saying, I have no belief in any builders. That means they by default believe that nothing built every building. Either something created everything or nothing created everything. So Bruce, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe an atheist thinks or believes the scientific impossibility that nothing created everything. Is that what you believe? Oh, I just heard you. Yes, there actually, if you read a book about nothing, there's a thing called nothingness, which is truly nothing, and there's a thing called nothing, which means that it's out, let's take a one cubic meter space of space with no atoms in it at all. That would be called nothing. But there's also what's called a nothingness when you don't even have space. I know that's a little far-fetched. Have you heard that uh, broad, uh, that theory before? Probably from Disney. No, that's that's. So a, this nothing something. has got something in it. Is that what you're saying? Yes, even nothingness might have something in it. Then it's not nothing, Bruce. It's that's correct. It's not nothing. It's something. But the simplest version of nothing it might be empty space. Just a. The nothing of the Bible, an infinite, dark, empty void. I'll raise the stakes a little bit. If there is a God, may he strike me dead. Well, atheism is a belief, so I don't, I'm not an atheist. But you can't call atheism a belief. Well, atheism is a belief, so I don't, I'm not an atheist. I have a little aside here. I want to talk about a pet peeve just briefly. And, you know, this is one of those things that annoys me no end. There's always somebody who pops up in the comments and he says, atheism is just the lack of belief in God. It is not a belief, it is the lack of belief. And I hate those guys. They're wrong. And I hate those guys. They're wrong. There are people who, who will argue that atheism means lack of a belief in a God. I don't particularly like that one. I've used it in the past. I've stopped using it. Here's the definition of an atheist from the Cambridge Dictionary someone who believes that God does not exist. And from dictionary.com, the doctrine or belief that there is no God. Despite the fact that I've interviewed professors from UCLA, USC, and other professors, including P.Z. Myers and Lawrence Krauss, atheists continually accuse me of only speaking to dimwits who can't stand up to my bullying. What they don't understand is that it's the conscience that's being addressed, and that brings all of us onto a level playing field. Watch what happens when this atheist, who's clearly intelligent, changes the dynamic himself. 